All right, so in this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna go over the locking out stage of the character. Again, this the whole sole purpose is to lead to uh, retopology using quad draw. This is the technique for quad draw uh, modeling. Uh, but first, to block out the shapes, kind of like sticking play-doh uh, parts together to get a rough basic shape of it and then from there on top of that you use a quad draw right so this is not old school modeling this is not old school box modeling or anything like that it'll look like it but it's not so first thing I want to do is make sure you're on the modeling menu and I also want to turn on Symmetry Object X and then uh, everything else is uh, all default I'm going to start off with a cube cube press F there's my cube oh also my uh, perspective camera select it control A as an apple Make sure this is at 90. This prevents any uh, lens distortion or perspective distortion. Near clip plane, you can set to uh, 0 0.01 to prevent clipping when you zoom in too close. And that's about it. All right. Okay, so from here, first thing I wanna do is go select it. I'm gonna name my cube. Uh, main body and uh, under poly cube 1 under inputs set the height baseline to minus 1 that sets it above the grid line and it sets the pivot point at the base level makes it easier to scale and rotate blah 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 subdivision with height and depth set it to 2 2 and 2 all right there's all reasons why for this then turn on this anti-alias multi-sample turn on this x-ray same for your front this and this for my perspective it does not matter i just want this on and then from there and i'm gonna just pick it up Right around here, the midline, the body. I'm gonna press R, as in Robert. I'm gonna kind of scale it like that. Kind of scale it like that. Ish. Kind of scale it like that. Press three. So we're gonna go between one and three. Right. I'm going to do uh, a save I already named it okay from here in right click vertex mode grab that tuck it grab that just grab that tuck it press 3 then grab this uh, I'll grab that, I'm gonna push that, I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna push that. And then the neckline, I'm assuming it's gonna be around here. Alright, ish, shoulder, back, I'm just guessing something like that. This, probably like that. Grab that, do something like that. Grab that, do something like that, I guess. Here, grab that, tuck it. This looks weird, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Grab those, pull it like that. Grab that. And press 3. So this is what we have. 
So it doesn't look like much, but it's fine. I'm at level three. I'm just working with the level three mode, right? Just pulling on it, seeing what I can, what I can push out of it, right? The whole point is, what's the most I can do with the very least I have right now? Right. As you can see, it's not much. Right. I'm in my front view, I'm going to pull, and pull up a bit. Grab that, pull that a bit. Uh, grab that. Remember, I have uh, symmetry on. Grab that. I pull that in. Grab this. Pull it up. That's up here. All right. So this is what looks like level one, right? Looks like crap, which is fine. And then okay, front and see how I'm always keeping mine in my midline, even at this low stage. Grab that, pull that bit. See, I'm looking at my th thickness over here. One second. So, when I look at these, um, you know, low poly versus level three, I'm thinking about this, just like in traditional drawing. See the torso, right? At level three, or at level one, the idea is the same. Oh, give me a break. Right here, see the torso. And then slowly I'm going to add more lines like that this area here too see this area is actually this area but I gotta draw the I gotta make this area more plump because this is a flat surface but this is how I'm thinking just like over here you're thinking about the underlying structural mass all right but not to get overwhelmed with the details at the same time and just using what I have for right now and pushing it as much as I can and then going in and adding resolution afterwards yeah so that's the thought process anyway so from here let's try to see what else I can push I'll grab that that and that get in this is from the back see before after but you notice the midline right I can push this back see because the rib cage the widest point of the rib cage is a little bit further back and right around here I'll pull that back a bit so you're kind of going back and forth, back and forth. All right, and then this area, right, front of the rib cage, tuck it in. Level one, tuck it in. See? And then tuck that in. Grab that. And even the way I pull on it, just pull out the arrow. All right, don't just haphazardly just grab things and pull. Grab that. Comparing it from level one and level three. Grab that and pull.
can grab this. Pull. Then I can grab that. Pull that. Okay. Grab that. So I can pull it in. Make it a little bit more round. And pull that up a bit. So kind of work back and forth, back and forth. Work with what little we have. I mean, we will add more. The uh, yeah. Geometry. Always know where your front is. Alright, so that's basically that. Here, I could make do with a uh, uh, edge loop here. All right? See, this is a maximum I can push it. There's not much more else I can do it. I can do to this model, this base, uh, blocking out the body part. Kind of like, like I said, play doh. All right? Now I, now I need to add more resolution to give it more of a uh, plump shape. So from here, right, I also notice everything is still maintained. Right, see, there's no rotation values. Even on the X, right, the midline, it's not moved. This midline, slightly moved, but it's fine. The side view. But the front view, for sure, you don't want this thing moving off the midline. Or you don't want this to have a slight rotation. Anything like this, completely ruined, and you just gotta start from zero. Top view is a good example. Okay. So from here, go back to level one. Shift right click. I want to use the multi cut option box. Make sure everything's reset. And control, hold on control, and it'll make an edge loop for you. All right, so I want something like here. Holding control, and then I want right around here ish. Left click once. And then you let go. The tool is still live, so you don't want that. Press W, get out of the tool. Soon as you add um, resi more resolution, right? This is what I call resolution. Soon as you do that, you're gonna wanna uh, use it. So from here, I already stiffened it up. So maybe this here, grab it, yank on it. See, grab this. You pull that down a bit. Grab that. Level three, you can yank on it. Grab these two, yank on it. Maybe grab that. Yank it forward. Grab that. It's too low. Around here ish. Grab that.
this might be better as just straight. But this might be better if I lift it up a bit. It all depends. like crap, but it's fine. Grab this end, make it plump, like that. This end, yeah, I can't do much with this. Like that. Right. I don't like how it's skewing like that. Maybe I need to uh, tuck this down a bit. Right. Just like in drawing, these are my uh, schematic lines, right? Like like in drawing, your implied lines, kind of to kind of help the see the volume of your drawing. It's kind of like that. I'm just balancing out the midline. minutes next I need to add another uh, line over here because there's only this is the maximum I can more or less do to this lower half so midline over here multi cut press one for low poly cage instead of the smooth smooth preview proxy hold on control for my uh, multi cut right right around here right down the middle Hold and control and then uh, left click once. That's it. Press W, get out of the tool. So this looks like crap. Where's my front? Press 3. Alright. Vertex mode. Let's work with what I have. My midline. Careful not to move it off the midline. This side view. Right now I'm just balancing out the lines. Just like that. Side view. Pull on that. Pull on that. Pull this down. Pull this up. See, I'm maintaining, so maybe I pushed it too much, so I'm bringing it back. This surface plane is this surface plane. Right. This surface plane is that. Right now, I'm, I pulled it down too much. It's skewing too much, so I'm bringing it up. I want to push it, but I don't want to push it too much. This one I want to push this in a bit. Right, this one I want to push this in a bit. Alright, see? See what's happening? I'm getting that beanbag shape. Push it in. This one maybe is pulling up, skewing up too much. I want to balance that out. Here's my front. So I'm working between 1 and 3. At level 1, I can tell what areas are skewing too much, where I might have pushed it too much. Level 3, I'm looking at it to see if I get my shape, general shape. vision this here grab this put that in a bit even though I might have uh, undid that a little while ago I'm 
just averaging things out. Maybe I might have pushed it too much. Okay, so that's what, 20 minutes? I'm gonna just cut it short here. I'm gonna have to add one, another one over here, so I get my crease. And maybe another one down here. That way I can pump it up more. See right here? Turn off my, uh, press five. See, I need to add one here to tuck this in. Anyway, with very what little I but what very little I have, I try to push it as much as I can. All right. So when you're first learning, you want to do that to have self control and not just keep on adding more and more lines until it just blows up on you because it happens all the time so I'm, I'm working very slow right now to prevent bad habits yeah so I'm gonna edit here next one I'm gonna refine it more slowly, slowly adding more and more resolution alright bye